I find beauty in the simple everyday things. I get my inspiration from nature mostly. A star-filled sky, a lunar eclipse, dandelions. My art journey began in Kansas City, USA. I'm the daughter of Irish immigrants. My childhood was a roller coaster between a dynamic American city and the solitude of a rural farm on the side of a mountain in Leitrim. I have always loved words in literature, poetry and song. I enjoy searching through them for meaning and connections. Singing by Yourself was born, where I combined subtle images with words of encouragement and hope to bring people on a personal journey of reflection. My art must always encompass hope. The lines of my art reflect this. Mountains of love, layers of understanding. Beyond the wall is a meadow of endless possibilities. In our busy modern world, there's a growing emphasis on positivity and mindfulness. Uplifting artwork can have a positive influence on our well-being. This led me to my first work of singing by yourself, The Field. I travelled to it alone regularly, going to Dublin or Galway. One day, for no apparent reason, I noticed this beautiful tree on the horizon just outside Necrockery. There was an enormous field and this tree sat by itself. And I was taken by its strength and its isolation. And then I realised it wasn't isolated. There was birds in its branches and cattle in the field and nature all around it. I wanted to draw it. How would I depict the beauty, the strength, the determination of this tree? I made a person in my mind. I decided it had to be an etching, black and white, to represent its strength and its determination. And then the words came, there is a field beyond fear and I am travelling there. Another one of my pieces, Happiness Floats. I was told as a child that the dandelion seeds floating in the air, if you caught one before it touched the ground, your wish would come true. So we spent hours as children chasing these seeds around the air. One day, as an adult, I was looking out at them drifting along and I thought, that is what happiness is. That ease, calm, drifting, weightlessness, simplicity. So the image for that work became dandelion seeds and the words were simply happiness floats. I experiment with every material to understand what best reveals what I'm trying to say, whether it's something delicate or something strong. You have graphites and pencils, you have colours with pastels and inks and acrylics and watercolours and oils, all with different results to capture what you have seen and what you want to relate. Mountains of Love broke my heart, this hazy day of gentle colours. And for four years I did it in oils, I did it in watercolours, I did it in acrylics, pastels, I tried everything. And one day I did it in chalk paint and it worked. The gentleness came through. And, and that's what the materials give you, the depth, the emotion that you're trying to capture. The creative process allows me to search. It possibly demands me to search into myself for what is true to me. In college, I did my thesis on two contemporary artists, Louis Le Braque and Francis Bacon. They both depicted the human form, but in two totally different ways. One in gentleness and one in rawness and anger. So I'm totally aware of the different approaches to any subject. My work encompasses people, places, memories, struggle. Yet it always ends in hope, hope that is not naive. My work contains darkness, but there is always a light beyond that allows us to live in a celebration instead of simply to survive. The Dalai Lama said, my religion is kindness. I believe kindness defines each of us, our purpose, our worth, our success. To find what is true, we need to explore our inner self. That is where my art and my poetry allow me to go.